gentlemen, it is time for game number one for tonight. It is going to be Six Jacks Vibe versus Mouse Morrow. It's going to be a Zerg versus Pro Terran. Excuse me. Whoops. Whoops. We'll have that fixed up in a jiffy in the next game. It is going to be a Zerg versus Terran. It's okay, man. Sometimes Morrow will do that to you. Morrow changes races all the time. Not to Protoss, but. Not, he doesn't change to Protoss. He played Terran originally. He loved him as Reapers, and then he switched over to Zerg, but when he's playing an against another Zerg, he changes back to Terran. Dude, once you go Terran, you never go back. Dude, he was Terran, and he went to Zerg. LZ Gamer was Terran, and he went to Zerg. And look at them now. Yeah, what happened to them? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. But Terran is my favorite preferred race. Just so many different options. It's definitely my second preferred race. So many different options. Just if if, so if, the, if there was a survey and I had to do like a checkbox or something, what is what race would you rather sleep with? Zerg, Sphincter Terran, says Protoss. What? Sphincter says what? What? Sphincter says what? Sphincter says what? What is your Sphincter saying? Dude. Wayne's World, it's a man. No, I never watched Wayne's World. <laughs> I never watched Wayne's World either. <laughs> Whoa, bro. Whoa, bro. Well, you missed out on a series. Let's talk about something I know what's going on. Let's Starcraft talk about the game, yes. Oh, man. I'm trying to see what chat has to say about this. Everyone's going to blow up on me now. Everybody always you. blows up on you, man. I know. I yes, it so is bad. HD and pain tonight. Thank you very much, no, guys. No, it's, it's, it's HD and cat's pajamas. I'm not cat's pajamas. I do not have the Colonel Mustard mustache. <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken. I'm yeah, missing that. All right, we have that a portion. Terran versus Zerg here. Morrow's going to be the red Terran at the top left-hand position of Tauderim Altar. And his opponent, Six Jacks Five, will be the green Zerg at the top right-hand corner. I already have a quick hatch coming out for him. No gas quite yet. Let's get an APM check on Vibe real quick. Oh, of course, man. I'll bet you over 200 right now. Want to bet? No. Nope. Want to bet? A dollar? A dollar? 340. 342. I was going to say I 300 plus. Three, oh, really? Yeah. I should have went with the 300 plus. Vibe is a, is a crazy man. Dude, he is pretty uh, insane. Um, Danny he Schur has a lot of APM. I would say that probably about a third of that is effective APM. Yes. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. That's uh, fine. I mean, hey. A lot of top players have roughly similar EAPMs. As long, you know, as long as his effective APM is around 100 or so, or is good enough to get oh, him I'm through sure. games, and he, it's fine. If he wants to spam, spam away. I spam all the time. I'm a big spammer. You do indeed. Yeah, I love spam. I, when I go get Loco Moco, I always get spam instead of beef. So that's just me. Loco Moco. Best one. Barbecue dish ever. Yeah, right, like, yeah, yeah, I didn't like it that much there. Neither do I. Yeah. HRDs is this Korean restaurant we have next to uh, work. Korean fusion, Korean bro. fusion restaurant. Korean and Mexican, blah, blah, blah. It's not a we restaurant. Go there and we get, it's, it's like, like a, a roach coach in a wall. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those taco stands that are right in the wall. Scoreboard's, scoreboard's still not up? Oh, guys, we will get that scoreboard up for you guys pronto. We do apologize. Someone just sneaked in here and said the scoreboard isn't up. That we can fix, if I remembered how to do that. Uh, show layered. What would that be at? Windows. Windows? Settings. Windows? Settings. No, settings. 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 No? Settings. Settings. Where? No, no. Where? Settings. Oh. Position. No, whatever, dude. All right, whatever. Sorry guys, we don't have a scoreboard for this game. We'll get it fixed in the next game. We do apologize, but uh, rather than spend 20 minutes watching Painters and I figure out technical issues and try to get past the technical difficulty, we think we'll show you guys some StarCraft 2 instead. So, we do have Maro opening up with the Command Center. Uh, interesting little wall off here, Pain User. He's only got an SCV and a Marine to finish off the, the somewhat of a hole right there. And it looks like in the background, he's gonna be getting some Hellions with Stimpak. So a pretty common opening from Morrow, and we'll see what he does to uh, to attack Vibe in the next couple of minutes, because no doubt it's going to be some Hellions and some Marines. For the time being, let's just throw out the good old Control N. Control N works for me, man. Right. There it is. Simple, easy, gets the job done. Good call, good call. So he's going to open up with some Hellions here, mm -hmm. and it's very curious to me that Morrow would actually pick Terran against Zerg. Uh, especially well, on a map like Tal Darim. He doesn't like to play ZBZ, which I don't blame him. I kind of agree. It's not a matchup. very fun matchup at all. No, it's a fun matchup. It's just so... It's like rolling the dice, man. It's just like, if you feel like you have an edge playing Terran, then just play Terran. I agree. I, about it. I mean, sometimes when I play against Zerg, I wish I could play Protoss. I actually kind of enjoy TBT, so I can't really speak on that. But from what I've seen, CVZ does not look like a lot of fun. Eh, it's all about pulling that... Ling away from the Bane Ling and 
getting the bailing away from the ling and yeah, sometimes. It's, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it's, it's, it's also just about one. like massing units while your opponent is. Once you get into massing the, drones, right, one thing I would not want to play is Terran versus Terran. That looks hard as hell. It's super hard, man. Yeah, siege tank on look, siege tank battles, man. That looks really fun. Could use your noggin. That looks really. I don't know. That looks really fun, but it looks like I would have an aneurysm playing that. It's super difficult. Yeah, I, I'm sure it is. It's very, very technical. I'm sure it is. And frustrating. I'm sure it is. I can't stand it. All right. Well, we do have. Three I, I fully <laughs> retract everything I said. No, <laughs> it depends on who gets the the money volley off, right? Yeah, it whoever kinda, sieges up first and just decimates the opponent's siege line, um, that's really like forget, what's hit or miss in TV tank for me. You know what? You it's all just, about the tanks. No, bro. you should just go mass door. No. No. Yes. You ever seen Marauders versus Thors, bro? It's kind of funny. Use that 250 millimeter cannon. One shot <laughs> On those Marauders. Marauders. There you go. <laughs> Well, <laughs> that would not work. We dude. do have a couple of Hellions here for Morrow. I'm surprised he hasn't poked the front door yet. He He's has... opening up with double medevacs mm -hmm. right now? Yeah, he is making double medevacs right now off of two base. And still no attack, really, for him. Does he have stim yet? He doesn't. No, he does have stim. He must have. Done? Yeah, he has stim. Okay, done. stim is done. He, he has, has a timing two medevacs here. Actually, yeah, yeah he definitely damage. does. And I'm surprised he's not taking advantage of it. Combat shield on the way. First two medevacs pop out. So he's going to load up these medevacs almost full. Oh, wow. Two totally full cool. medevacs. Beautiful timing on the build. That's every single marine he has with these two medevacs. He knows that there aren't any overlords. He's going to go straight for the natural here. And, uh, you know what? Vibe I think he's could have do. some trouble holding this off if I he gets in there before drop. bailing speed finishes. Yeah. I think could he's going to drop on the high ground and leave the Hellions on the low ground. Yeah. Maybe burn the Lings as they get next to the uh, Marines. Yeah, absolutely. But, but there is bailing speed on the way. Centrifugal hooks. Almost done. And uh, looks like he's actually just going to barrel through the front door here. Oh, Very wow. powerful timing attack. And it doesn't look like beaming speed is quite finished yet. Did he really. just stem everything? I think he, he did. No, yes, he did. He did. He did. I Ooh. think he jumped the gun on that. Well, it looks like he's going to go to the north and take out that hatchery pretty quickly. I mean, this is just going to go down instantly. There's no way it's staying alive. And, oh, is he going to unload and get out of there? Yes, he is. Oh, oh my oh. god. But he did get half of his forces out of there, so it wasn't a complete disaster. But oh no, the Mutalisks have arrived with only one, and here comes the rest. It's gonna be a close one. How much damage can Moro exact? Mainling speed is done. It's gonna hit all those Marines. Moro taking a ton of damage right there. That drop didn't do anything. All he really hatch. managed to do was delay the third, which. It's nice, but not for two dropships and eight marines or twelve marines. Sixteen. Sixteen marines and four Hellions. Yeah. That's, that's not worth it at all. And look at. I love, love it. it. I love it, man. I love it, man. Dude, it's the wall within a wall. It's the wall within a wall. The dream. I the dream. I don't know why Terran players do this more often. Just, I guess it's super fragile to Banelings, but it's kind of nice. Well, I mean, it is fragile to Banelings, but at the end of the day, it'll save you a Ling run by or two. Yeah, it will. And you might as well attention. put your depots there if, if you if you have the extra money. Yep. Moro all over the Mutalist Karas has Marines in position already. Yes. It's going to add tanks and siege mode now. Plus one is on the way. Additional medevacs coming and his third roughly at the same time. No, you know his what third's actually going to finish well before Vibes. You know what I've got to say, Pain User? Hmm. I feel like Vibe is really far ahead right now. He's double expanding. Well, he's reestablishing his third and he's getting the fourth right now. He deflected the double dropship fairly well. He's playing the Muta Baneling style, which I'm a big fan of. The old school ZBT. I still use it all the time. And he's got a big Muta flock across the map. I think he's in firm control of this game. And I just got to ask you, what would you do if you are in Moro's shoes? If I was in Moro's shoes, mm -hmm. try and get my third up play a, a pretty standard game from here on out. I don't think Vibe is that far ahead. Moro actually has the supply lead right now, 107 to 94. That's his true. third's gonna be up before Six Jack Vibe finishes his third or fourth. Mm. I don't think he's in as bad of a situation as you think, but I would definitely agree that Vibe has the map control right now, and he deflected any kind of early game harass without a hitch. Mm -hmm. Didn't take much damage at all. Yep. If I was in Moro's shoes, I would take my third, sit back, continue to macro, get a ton of tanks, get solid upgrades, get a really good infrastructure, and it looks it looks like he's actually you doing know, all those things right now. And you know what I really like about Moro right now is he's got this wall of turrets, like a vertical wall of turrets along this little line right here, which is just repelling the Mutalisks. And as a Zerg player, what you really want to do here is get in there with those Mutalisks, try to do whatever damage you can, pick off SCVs, delay production, just throw a wrench, as if you will, into the Terran player's machinery and try to slow him down. But it almost seems like the only thing these Mutalisks have done is kill off two dropships and not really much else. 
Yeah. And that's I, actually a problem. He needs to do something with these. I totally agree with you. There has been not that much harass from the Mutalisks. Mm -hmm. And I guess you could call that turret line the Maginot line. Gonna block Maginot all the line. Yeah, man. <laughs> Gonna block all the. Uh... Oh, is that a drop going along the top edge of the map? I it is. That I see. I it believe is. it was scouted by the Overlord, but I don't think that Vibe actually caught wind of that. Mm -hmm. We have a bunch of Marines moving out to the Zelnaga. They might hit that Baneling bomb. Oh, oh my God! Oh no! I was watching it on the mini map. I didn't even know there was bird banelings there, and all oh, the tanks are gonna go down as well. Oh, that was huge, dude. I did, yeah, I tried. And you said it like the very second they blew up. It was a split second thing, oh, man. I didn't man. know. I didn't even know that happened. That was like 25 marines. I know right that was there. like all. This could be the game ender. Vine I believe has, it will. Vibe has the full VIP access now. There's a drop the going club. on in Vibe's main. Oh yeah, there is a drop. He might be able to kill the lair. There's also. Oh no, that's just a Viking. Can he get the Infestor Pit? I think Moro might be down and out here. Yeah, this is looking pretty grim for him. I mean, there's Lings flooding inside his main. Uh, he has to recuperate enough forces out of his barracks in order to deflect this, but, you know, half of his Marines are out across the map. They are doing some pretty good damage here. I love this little position. The drones trying to, like, they're trying to drill their way in, but it's not working out too well. Drone but, you know, at the end of the day... not working. At the end of the day, though, a lot of damage being taken to Morrow. Morrow is having a hard time dealing with this kind of Simmons Marines to deflect those needles. There's still so many forces inside his base. The, the, SC, the supply depot wall has been killed off, and this has got to be game. Oh my god, he's taking so much damage. Yeah, he's losing almost all of his SCVs right now. That drop oh no. did not accomplish what he wanted. Oh, he did kill all of <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Sneeze. Some over there. No, no, no. Just sneeze. Just but sneeze. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Go drop your infestation, <laughs> I'm good, man. Are, are people allowed to sneeze, man? Yeah, as long as you don't sneeze all over me. I didn't sneeze on you, I sneezed into my arm, man. I felt the big gust of wind. You're such a germaphobe, bro. Hey, it looks next like to each other all day. If I was gonna get you it, sick, you'd already be sick by now. It looks like Morrow is still kind of hanging on right here. I mean, it's it's a grim chance that he may be able to exact a way out of this, but uh, it, it's it's gonna be tough. He's losing so, so much man. right now, man. This is it. Five Marines. Can he do it? No, he's gonna call the GG. 41 to 102 supply. Quick win for Six Jacks Vibe and a very well-placed Baneling Bomb wins the day.